Today we're going to be looking at two new flexible solar panels from All Powers, including their SF100 100 watt panel and their SF200 200 watt panel. And at the time of making this video, the SF100 is available for around $109 on the All Powers website, and the SF200 is around $259. So they are relatively affordable panels, and in this video, we'll test them out to see how well they actually perform and discuss whether or not these are solar panels that you should actually consider buying. And I'll compare it with the performance of a bunch of other 100 watt and 200 watt panels I've tested in the past. If you want to jump to a particular section of the video, you can reference the timestamps below. But before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you want to pick up any of these panels and support my channel at the same time, you can use the links down in the description below. I've tested out a bunch of different all power solar panels, including their 60 watt, their 100, their 200, and their 400 watt folding panels but these are the first flexible panels that i've tested out and they are quite a bit less mobile than portable panels because they don't fold and the 200 watt panel is a bit bulky in particular but it is incredibly thin and overall they're both pretty lightweight considering their size and the 100 watt panel comes in at about 5.29 pounds and the 200 watt panel weighs in at about 9.3 pounds so they are flexible and they can adapt quite well to curved surfaces but they also can be laid flat or positioned at an angle depending on your preference and there are grommets around the edges of the panels and they come with velcro straps which you can use to attach them to different places outdoors these mono crystalline panels have a honeycomb style ETFE lamination which are very efficient and a durable tech which allows you to absorb more sunlight than traditional panels and they should hold up really well for years. They are also IP68 rated panels and they can handle extreme weather including rain, snow, sandstorms, and heavy sun exposure thanks to the waterproof layer on the surface of the panels. There's a waterproof junction box and connected to that we've got these MC4 style connectors and they are compatible with most solar generators. Now we're going to perform a charging test to see how close we can get to hitting the claim watts and in order to test the charging speed we'll be plugging in the panels to the All Powers R600 power station and this one is beige and it's one of the new colors that they offer and I'll leave a link to my review of this power station down in the description below as well. We are testing these panels in December and the sun is not quite in the most optimal position and we are a few miles away from the beach which does also impact the strength of the rays. So these are just conditions that are unique to me and you might not have to contend with this. Anyways the connection couldn't be easier and it should only take you a minute to get everything all set up and plugged in and after we do that it'll take a few seconds for the power station to recognize the solar charger. I'm going to test the speed of the panels laying flat and also I'm going to test them out at an optimal angle using the sundial so you can get a better idea of the range of performance that you're likely to encounter. We'll start off with the 200 watt panel laying flat which has a max speed of 85 watts and when we optimize the angle the speed jumped up to about 154 watts which is about 77% of what was claimed which is pretty good and with the 100 watt panel lying flat we were able to get about 47 watts but when we lifted it up and angled it towards the sun we were able to get around 83 watts which is slightly better than the 200 watt panel and quite decent overall at about 83 percent based on this test and other results that i've collected in the past we can discuss whether or not these panels are actually ones that you should buy and i've tested out dozens of portable solar panels this year and began to put together a database with my solar panel testing data ranging between micro 5 watt panels all the way up to 400 watt panels to help put the performance of each panel better into perspective compared to their competitors and as i review new panels i'll add them to this database and i'll leave a link to this database down below in case you want to check it out but for the sake of making the comparison more fair i'll only include 100 watt and 200 watt panels unfortunately i don't have any other flexible panels in the database yet but I do hope to have some more in the future. The SF100 100 watt panel is actually tied for first place in terms of claimed versus tested watts at 83%, which is quite good because you do get pretty close to the claim watts, which a lot of companies really fall short on, unfortunately. And it's also one of the most affordable panels overall from a cost per watt perspective at $1.31 per watt. And it's definitely a great deal for the price. The 200 watt panel is still one of the best 200 watt panels from an efficiency perspective at 77%, which is great, but it's also extremely affordable at a cost per tested watt perspective at $1.68 per watt. I do see room for improvement in performance with slightly more ideal conditions than those that I tested in, but overall the build quality is great on both of these panels, and I would definitely recommend these to anyone looking for an affordable, flexible panel setup for extended outdoor use. Let me know what your thoughts are on all powers down in the comments section, and if you have any interest in learning more and supporting the channel, please consider using the links down in the description below.